all right hello guys welcome back to uh another video and uh i'm not yet i'm not nine years old yet sorry sorry uh but yeah guys i am making a tnt cannon in minecraft trust me this is totally going to work okay so first we have some bit of stuff over here so if i uh this is like manually happening you know there's no other lever that you need to press there's just this lever and it will activate the entire tnt cannon watch this it does it relatively quickly it basically shoots into the air i don't want to do like this to make it look mlg MLG. So you can only fire this once. This is basically anti air artillery. It only shoots into the air. So it basically shoots into the air, but it's not really uh, that of an improvised system. So I think I'm going to improve it even further. So I'm gonna do this to make a long. Pulse extender, not the pulse extender, of course. Uh, like um, like a way of managing how long can we use the repeater. So we just go down like this, and put maybe like two repeaters. We can just line around all the redstone. So work like this now. Ah, that's perfect. Also shoot like multiple TNT at a time. Wow, this is crazy. It's like surface to air artillery. Its maximum range is quite limited. But at least it could get the hang of it. At least it can get the hang of it. So here's how it works. So this one, these four, uh, these five will activate first, and then they line up with the water buckets and go over here. Then this one will upload. Meanwhile. This redstone signal goes to these three repeaters, which go into this redstone output, which makes a redstone output the work this dispenser causing it to fire directly on the slab. And then these are like the thruster part. So basically, when it goes over here and then there, when these three explode over here, it will cause an explosion and a thrust force causing the TNT to go up into the sky and then when it reaches a certain limit in range it will explode the um the TNT that is launched will be explode will explode but i think this is not only my first ever TNT weapon i also have other things like TNT launchers that are very easy to make using a glitch in Minecraft 1.16. So yeah, it is very easy, uh, very easy, and uh, like the probability of this working is very high. So that's a good thing if you want to make your own military, or maybe you want to recreate Skyline. It's okay. You can just use TNT launchers because Skyline does include. TNT launcher. So I put this sticky piston with a slime and put one up, and then like I don't you want to use some. I just want to use an immovable block, like obsidian, and then a block on top of it, like some uh, concrete with uh, some kind of uh, this one, so it cannot move. Uh, so, but also. 
Why do I put the obsidian below this block? That's because in 1.16, or maybe in other previous versions, when obsidian is on top of the dispenser, this thing will stay, right? But actually, that's what we want, but that's okay. But really, I don't have much space to actually make this thing. So it's uh, not really that of a place to actually make it. I think I want to just make it over here, say, next to your TNT launcher. So I put some obsidian over there with a dispenser and in front of it we have a slime block. And then after that you put white concrete over here and set this repeater to 4 ticks. This is my recent design anyway. Uh, and then we put some redstone over here and it goes up like this and then that until it reaches a point above the dispenser. Now fill all these blocks with redstone. Now make one block, and this is another repeater. Just set to regular one tick, and put a sticky and connect it to a sticky piston with a slime block in front of it. And don't forget, we also need an input. So that means we have to probably use that. And that is done. You just need to fill this boy up with TNT. So, I'm just gonna clear my inventory, and I put some TNT. Trust me, I'm not playing on a computer. I'm actually playing on PE at Pocket Edition. Yeah. So, I put this TNT into there, and I dump that. Oh, yeah. Make it, make this, maybe you can make this for some, for making some, you know, underwater torpedoes, or something like that. So, I think it's a bit of a... Torpedo launcher rather than TNT launcher. Like, they basically just launch torpedoes. Like, they just launch underwater torpedoes. But this thing is a surface to air, but this is a surface to water. So, this is like, um, surface to air. So, it's, this one is, um, an SAM launcher or a surface to air missile launcher and this is an underwater surface to underwater torpedo launcher or an SU torpedo launcher so yes maybe you can hey heck if you are a redstone master you can actually try and make some robots to try and defend your base and you can also put some tnt cannons and also some the slime you know slime stuff you know whatever in the world they're called so yeah so like those like if you like have some just terminators that are made by redstone just like this like the scene from dark fate when there's like um like this so there's like terminators that swim underwater and then they kind of just rise up from the sea and they start attacking and marching towards all the resistance fighters so yeah um you can use those terminators to basically guard these materials but make sure that these are being built perfectly because if not you might deal with some um unforeseen consequences like your own tnt exploding like your own tnt cannon self-destructing itself or your tnt launcher failing to work so make sure you listen to these steps carefully okay let me give you some close-ups so you can double check well maybe i could do this three times so this is the first close-up so I will just narrate everything that I see on the on the close-ups. You ready? Okay, good. So in the in the close-up, there's the lever. There's a lever with some uh, with five bits of redstone, and connecting to two dispensers facing inwards into that water with some extra redstone and three repeaters. 
two of them set to four ticks and one of them set to two ticks and there's some redstone flowing into this dispenser there's a stone slab and there's some blocks of netherite all around it to make sure that it doesn't you know kill itself and also for this tnt launcher there is a lever on the back of the dispenser with a slime block in front of it it is probably loaded with tnt and there will be a red and there's a repeater set to four ticks with some redstone and another redstone bit and another redstone bit and another redstone bit here and then the repeater set to one tick connecting to a sticky piston in front of a, a slime block and this is also floating and all around it this is just being made by pure one block obsidian and many blocks of concrete okay so guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe hit that like button and also hit that notification bell so you won't miss another video guys this is your host storm trooper gaming will be back in another video